approaching the big bad city for the WFMU record fair. Oh my god, so much traffic. What we wouldn't do for a bathroom, a drink, and a sandwich. Welcome, after the fact, to my uh, documentation of the 2023 WFMU record fair. Um, I took some video and some photos. I feel like I could have taken more. It's a little bit all over the place, but I've pieced together a sort of um, experience, my experience, and some of your fellow VCers' experience um, in New York over the last uh, four days. Today's Wednesday. Just got back Monday. And, well, it was an amazing time. Uh, super memorable. Tons of fun, very gluttonous at times. <laughs> I probably bought more records than anyone else in our group. But um, I'm really happy with everything I bought. This is one of them. Quantri Sonori, Maria Alisa Tozzi with uh, Helmut Laberer. Laberer. This was a blind buy from one of the sellers, Keith Fullerton Whitman. Who had a table, founder of the Creole Poem label, has released many of his own records for Cranky and others. Uh, a synthesis of sorts and a very sweet guy. I'll get more into everything I bought in the coming videos. I'm, I'm obviously going through it. I've barely played anything. It's been sort of hectic since I got home, but I just had so much. I mean, I mean, the best part of the trip was truly connecting with uh, everyone who came from the VC, from Brandon driving me, we, me and Brandon spent the most time together driving to and fro, talked basically non-stop going down and back uh, with Brandon, Alex, Motor 247, Brandon by the way, Faust in the head, uh, Alex, Motor 247, and Frank, JBL, we all stayed in an apartment, all right, you'll see some of that, but um, we met up with, what, like 10 different people. Mazzy, of course. Uh, Jason Rojas. Uh, Michael, Notes and Tones. Uh, some of the jazz bums, Mike. Arnaldo. Uh, Joe. Who else? Uh, a few people I could be forgetting. I'm trying to think of the photo. We had a great photo with Billy's. It was great to meet Billy at Billy's Record Salon. Um, a, a bunch of people introduced themselves to me at the fair. It was just a great, memorable experience. I'm wearing my Folkway shirt that Alex gave me. Thank you, Alex. By the time you're seeing this, you'll see that there is a live stream with Mazzy tonight, Wednesday. So, much more will be discussed there. I'll, I'll be going through, who knows, as much of the finds as I can. Um, I definitely hit it pretty hard. Um... So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoy this. And um, yeah, it was just so much fun to do this. Uh, just to hang. And that was the best part, as I said, hanging and talking. Uh, we had the turntable set up in the apartment. We were playing records, discussing. Uh, notable absence. Dave, the VC ambassador, unfortunately couldn't come after uh, you know getting ill, we'll just say, for now. Um, he's okay, but, you know, fortunately we were able to secure some records for him, so, um, that's good. Uh, and he's getting better, that's the important part, so. Yeah, this is the intro. Enjoy the rest of what you're about to see. Um, I wish I would have taken more footage, I have a few regrets about some records I didn't buy, but, in all in all, fantastic time. This first turntable set up, beer has been attained and uh, lodging attained. Waiting on a few others here. Small but adequate. Record fair coming next.
Nobody needs records, but I enjoy records. But if I get in the mood, I'm, I came to see the people. The people of... Uh, same, here. same. And, and Cracker, some, some some like hipster will say, Cracker, they're a bunch of bullshit, basically. I enjoyed this band. David actually. Lowry and uh, Kemper van Beethoven, but there's a song, Big Dipper, even which is sounds so like liberal shit, NPR did a documentary once on the song Big Dipper. So I know that song by Built the Spill called Big Dipper. Well, Big Dipper is, no, this is a different song. Okay. And it's really slow, it's got a really kind of meandering, it's really a great ballad. And uh, it's about the Santa Cruz boardwalk down with the Big Dipper, the big roller coaster. It's okay. The big Dipper. And then I got a Last Poets. I do not have this one, I have a different one. I don't Blue have this Thumb, one. I think. Yeah, I'm in a last poets mode. I found one early today. Good stuff. I only bought two records today, so I'm not really buying one of the records. So well, let's see what let's see what happens tomorrow. We'll see. And I usually okay, I'm I'm totally breaking my rules. I usually always take records out of the plastic. I hate when people show records in the plastic. It's fucking bullshit. I've tried to start doing and that. And you know, I can't believe because the silent guy, the vinyl community, is Alex three sixty. He's like the coolest South America, uh, South California, Southern California guy. In like yeah, you had the name wrong. I was like, four, seven, like I, I heard two four seven like, three six. I know he's right. coming here, it's but like, hey there, hey, what's up? <laughs> nice, nice <laughs> handshake. <laughs> We're standing at the beautiful Knockdown Center. All the pallets you can possibly want. At the other end of uh, the Knockdown Center, which is over that way. We're standing here with some fine chaps. Hello, Frank. What do you got, coffee? Got some coffee. Still drinking it. You're milking it. Still drinking it. I had a great bagel, egg bagel. That was solid. So, so far, so good, yeah. Simple, quick, easy. Absolutely, yeah. Brandon. How are you today? I think this is perfect. It's rainy. It's a rainy Saturday. The line, the line is not very long so far. Nice early fall. Nice. Early fall. Alex. Hi everybody. How was it? So far, so good. Find anything yet? Not yet. Perfect uh, New York day though. Yeah, this feels like New York fall to me. Anyway, we'll. Uh, more detail to come as we sit here uh, in line. Oh, I didn't see the La Barbara. Awesome. Oh yeah. What? CDs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have a car, so CDs. So just buy, I buy mad CDs. I was kind of annoyed that they have all those FMU CDs over there. They were all three bucks. It's just need to be a dollar. Make them a dollar, no problem. Even one dollar. We download that shit. I like buying them. To the record store. Not enough records. You guys had enough rain yet? <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you had it? Have you had enough rain yet? 
fuck the rain. <laughs> I love it. It's feel, it makes me feel good. We invented it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm from Pittsburgh, so we're like right behind you. We're pretty close. Actually, we went rain lovers. I don't think it's going to stop. We I think might, it's just what we're, this is our life now. For, for bleak environment. Billy's Unisex Salon. Billy's Record Salon. I, I'm going to stop referring you to the primitive guitar guy because you're so much more than that. No, I'm not. You are, but <laughs> the guy you turned me on to, and you turned my friend Amanda, the archivist. Glenn Jones. Glenn Jones. Yeah. We both, like, each got, like, three or four of his albums directly because of you. I can't, I can't recommend him enough. Right? Yeah, absolutely. This is for, from Anthony. Anthony makes these cork things. Say hi to Anthony. Oh, Anthony, very nice. Oh, okay. Debating a record? E4. Is it really trashed? Yeah, but it's like 50. I was going to push him to 40. Is it? So it's on Virgin originally, right? No. no. Wasn't it's, it on Virgin in the It's the, the German label. That's... Maybe I'm thinking of a UK. <laughs> anyway, I'm curious. Maybe you should go in there and get that and stop talking to me. Oh, man. I'm out of cash, man. Yeah. That means I got put on the card. And then when you do that, like, it's easier doing it with cash. You know? It happens much quicker and there's less debating. Yes. And then it's gone. You don't know when you get home. You don't get a bill. The thing That's is, the like, key. that guy we met yesterday, Chris, I had met him at the Astoria record show, and that guy's like a hard ass. Chris, if you're watching this, you are a hard ass. Don't be a hard ass. The guy was sitting next to me, the British guy. The guy that, like, like just left and couldn't be bothered with us all again. Well, he got bored with us. I was, I Still had money on the counter. Right. Put money on the counter. I, I, I probably bought less records than anyone here. Like, I don't know. How many did you buy? Here? We got planes over I bought seven in three days. No, today. None. Day's not over yet, though. No, it's not over. I, there's nothing I want. You know, I'm the docu documentarian of the trip here. I'm trying to do a little more right now because that'll help me to. It'll kill time where I can't spend it's, money. It's, it's like this is the piece. We're bringing these people together and we're documenting the record. They bought some shit ass records and like typical, you three guys bought shit ass records I had known nothing about. Terrible so, records. Considering. You know, my age, I should know more about this music, but I just know. It's okay. I bought that you know. Phil Collins record on Friday. You that did, was, and that was like a shit-ass record. That's like, $6 shit-ass shit record, record that I got for five. Alex, how are you? <laughs> Fair. Good. I, uh, I try to buy stuff for uh, for Dave, for uh, Stunty, for Sherb. I got and, something for Stunty. And then in the way, I spent uh, way too much money. 
Yeah, I, I screwed you up at that table with the Alltechers. Well, that was actually cheap, but then... Uh, he was good. Yeah, I found that uh, Jacques Thalo, you know, record. Excellent. Uh, and then, you know, it turns out I've, I've actually bought from this French dealer in California like eight, nine years ago. Um, you know, he's really the only, the only guy, I think, in the country that has stuff like that. that yeah. It's all from France. Pretty much.